Hello, good evening to you, and part of the story here is the Albaid Stadium by night, 60,000 capacity here. My name's Derek Ray, I'm delighted to have alongside me, as usual on these occasions, Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Morocco versus Croatia. Well, thanks Derek, this is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. Hakimi. And support available. Mateo Kovacic. Brozovic. Ivan Perisic. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Asadin Unahi. Yusuf N. Nasiri. Ziyech. Unahi. And Nasiri. Can he put it away? Oh. Effective challenge. Ziyech. And he has options available. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Modric. And on you go, says the referee. Advantage. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. And they find a gap in the defence. Well, I think a classic commentator's curse just then. Couldn't make the ideal pass. Unahi. Sofian Bufal. And a textbook interception. Mario Pashanic. And there it is, the half time whistle. May I please remind you that racism will not be tolerated in any form, and offenders will be removed from the stadium. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. Mamaric. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Amala. Azadine Unahi. Hakimi. Ziyech. Danger here as he runs at them. Lobren, Modric, Mario Pashanic, Juranovic, and the ball, and it will be a throw in. Roma Saiz, Sofian Amrabat, 20 minutes remaining. Just cutting off the supply. Sofian Bupal. Ziyech. And he takes it on. Mateo Kic. Ivan Perisic. Level pegging, but can they change that? Kovacic. 
Can he put them in front? So deflection, and they can get ready for the corner kick routine. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. And he clears the danger. Now shot happy here. Ziyech. The and the referee has seen that an additional four minutes are in order. Can they win it right here? Making sure nothing untoward happened. Superb tackle. Good use of a bat. And there we have it. The referee says that will do it for this match. It was pretty even. Ladies and that has been reflected in terms of the scoreline, Stuart. Yeah, very difficult to split them over the 90 minutes. Now their focus will turn to the next fixture. It's vital they pick up three points. Otherwise, it can quickly get away from you. Hello, great to have you with us. Welcome to the distinctive Al Bayt Stadium with its tent-like structure. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner, Stuart Robson. And both teams with one game each under their belt already. Let's see how they fare this time around. It's Morocco, and they take on Belgium. Well, Derek, a draw last time out was a decent result, but they need to back that up now with a win in front of these fans. If they can, that would be a good start for them. Nusser Mazraoui, Amala, Azadine Unahi, Hakimi, Ziyech, Amala, here's Bufal, and Nesiri. Is this the moment? And he did so well to move across and deal with the danger. teammates around him in it goes an early goal no wonder they're celebrating well here it is never really in doubt was it he was always going to score from there the ball is moving once more how important will that opening goal prove to be Sofiane Bouffal, able to skip past his man. It's Sofiane Bouffal! He had to react, and did. Tielemans. Minier. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. And the danger is averted. Regained possession and unable to keep the ball. Amala. Can he finish? Can he find the right pass? Giving it a try. Jason Denier. The ball with Van Aken. Well, half time coming up shortly, and the home side on top. Stuart, interested to get your critique. Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here, but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half time. second half can Belgium battle back after that first 45 clean challenge Unahi good looking ball 
Hazardine Unahi. And a goal! They're going to take some stopping now. Two in front here. Well, it's a goal you'd expect him to score, but he kept his cool and he put it away nicely. He'll be happy with that. So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. Really bright looking attack. Well, they're eyeing that final pass, you just feel. And just like that, they don't have the ball anymore. Oh, nice work to get this opponent. Chance to finish. A goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat trick. Well, here's the replay, and as you can see, Ziesch's cross is played into a really dangerous area, and the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? And a substitution in the offing. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3 0 now. A very effective challenge put in. Into the final 20 minutes. Ziesch. Unahi. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. And a goal to delight the fans. Just what they were hoping for. Well, as we see it again, he was never going to miss that, was he? That's a really simple finish in the end. A lopsided contest, 4-0. Number 27. Carrasco. Sofian Amrabat. Trying to really get at the opposition here. But timely, can he put it in? Oh, excellent diving stop. Cleared away. He's in with a chance. And he thwarted the attack with them. And the final whistle is sounded. It has gone to plan for them. They get the Rangers win they were looking for the here, Skewers. Well, Greg, they were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances. We saw an attack which was always threatening. And they played really well. What a performance that was today. Hello, excitement in the air, and welcome to this round of 16 contest here at the 2022 World Cup. My name is Derek Ray, and alongside me to provide expert analysis, the atmosphere building up, what a game this promises to be. It's Morocco, and they take on Spain. Yes, cheers, Derek. Well, what an occasion it is for this club and its supporters. These are the games that they dream of. No doubting they're the underdogs if they can frustrate their opponents, stay in the game up until half-time, you just never know. Hopefully we get a great cup tie and maybe even a massive surprise. Masrawi and a timely intervention. Nayef Aguerd. Ziyech. Amala, Sofian Bufal, Bufal, no, good use of the ball, and moving, and it goes, the opening goal in this contest, well here's the replay, and just look at that power, that's almost unstoppable, that's a great strike, Go! 
So underway again here. One nil to score. Morata. Sergio Busquets. Making a bit of headway. He thwarted the attack with a masterful tackle. Unahi. Ziyech. Yusuf and Nesiri. Plenty of support here. Amala. Bufal. And great work to... And still dangerous. And he's won the ball. He must finish! And just wide of the first. Decent effort there. Koke. Pablo Sarabia. Well, half-time coming up shortly, and the home side on top. Stuart, interested to get your critique. Well, that's first half. They've defended well, they've looked dangerous in attack, and they've controlled the midfield. It's been a solid performance so far. Possession changing hands. Can he do it? It's offside, and perhaps he should and maybe a little bit more aware in the box. He was just too static. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half to... Three. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. Useful looking position, you've got to say. And Nesiri, Unahi, Ziyech, Asadim Unahi. Koke and very deftly cut out Sergio Busquets 30 minutes left for play showing patience looking for the equaliser and really trying to blast that one past the keeper They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Sofian Bufal. And Nesiri Unahi. Ziyech. And he has options available. Ziyech. Ziyech. Well, the cards of ground to cover. Splendid save. Now well, they've decided to make a change. Flying Vesha. And the keeper showing tremendous command. Well, he almost nodded that one in. Ten minutes left for play. Azadin Unahi, Hakimi, Ziyech, Unahi. Well, not cleared away completely. Must be, and this time it's in! Fabulous goal, and just look at the celebrations! Well, here's the replay, and you can see why the manager is furious. It's just really poor play, offering up possession far too easily in a dangerous area. And at this level, if you keep... ...just not good enough. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. Three minutes of stoppage time added on here. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle.
unexpected, but they were excellent all over the pitch. There were some outstanding displays, and the game plan worked brilliantly. Credit to the players and coach. What a performance. Hello, great to have you with us. We're really getting down to the tension-packed part of this World Cup. We're at the quarter-final stage. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me here on the commentary position is Stuart Robson. And no shortage of excitement here. We're thoroughly looking forward to this one. It's Morocco up against Portugal. Yes, cheers, Derek. Well, what an occasion it is for this club and its supporters. These are the games that they dream of. No doubt in there, the underdogs, but if they can frustrate Opponents stay in the game up until half time. You just never know. Hopefully, we get a great cup tie and maybe even a massive surprise. Unahi. Hakimi. Running with the ball confidently. Bufal. Great challenge. He got nothing but ball. Keeper there to collect. Mala, Sofian Buffal. Owen Kennedy, please meet your group at your seats. Oh, moment of your class! Had to catch it perfectly, and didn't he just? Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, and then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Oh, back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Possession one. He has teammates around him. It's there for him. Goalkeeper getting in the way. Superb save. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. William Carvalho. Ronaldo. Good tackle. Plenty of options. Well, no danger now. Asadine Unahi. Roma Saiz. Sofian Bufal. Amala. Yusuf N. Nesiri. Azadine Unahi and Nesiri just knocking it around, looking to carve out a chance. Corner conceded, it came off the defender. Not a bit short with the clearance. The and in the end, no damage done. There will be a minimum of two minutes Throw in is given. Time. They need to get tighter. That didn't go as a plan in the end. Can he do it? Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box. Begging players to attack it, and the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. And we're back to the first half. Draws to a close. Back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. And off and running again here. There was a real golf in class in the first 45. Will we see an improved effort from Portugal in the second? Neves. Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed, and it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. Moving once more, and Portugal, undeniably, right back in this contest now. 
Well timed tackle. Fernandes. Rafael Leao. Leao. And it's fallen for Ronaldo. It defensively. Ziesh. Yusuf Siri. It's with Hakim Ziesh. Patient build up at the moment. Can he finish? And a goal it is. They lead by two now. Fully deserved. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Underway again with the score 3 1. Number 15. 20 minutes remaining. William Carvalho. Very quick thinking. Joao Cancelo. Now, who can he play it to? And a goal! Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. And the ball is moving again, 3-2. Sofian Amrabat. Mazraoui. Nusair Mazraoui. Azadine Unahi. Ziesh. Hakimi. Unahi. Sofian Amrabat. Bufal. Will it be? A goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat trick. Well, that was a fairly easy finish in the end, but he still had to take it. He won't mind how they come, though. Goal! And the final whistle is sent in. Progression is assured. They'll be taking part in the semi-finals. Well, they certainly weren't fancy coming into this game, but what a good performance that was. Great organisation, tremendous energy, and a fair amount of quality as well. It really was a wonderful display. Hello, a very good evening to you. This is the scene here at the Lusail Stadium, just to the north of the Doha city centre. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry, and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And we're just moments away from kickoff time in the World Cup semi final. It's Morocco versus France. Well, what a moment for both these teams. Just one step away from the final, but it's the visitors and their fans that are expecting to get through to the big day. But this is by no means an easy game for them, as their host can be really dangerous if they play at their best. And Nesiri. Kimi. He has teammates around him. Bufal. And the defender got the last touch. That'll be a corner. Still dangerous. Right. Sofian Amrabat and Nesiri Ziesh. Making sure nothing came of it. And a strong tackle.
Azadeen Unahi, Yusuf and Nasiri, Sofian Bufal. Coman guessing forward but they dealt with the threat posed now Paul can he put them in front the importance of that tackle cannot be overstated Kunde Coman Griezmann this is Coman It's with Kingsley Coman. Now, let's see what they can do here. And that is going to be a free kick. Well, the referee has taken note of his name and number. Well, I think he can count himself a bit unlucky there, but it was certainly a foul. Well, the attack finally comes to nothing, and the keeper has it. Hakimi. Ziyech. Well, we are going to have a decent amount of stoppage time. Three minutes to be exact. Happy to take on the shot. And a goal! The opening statement of the semi-final. How important can that prove to be? Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection, and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. And with that, the first half draws to a close. So France get the ball rolling once more. We're about to find out how to. So the ball is rolling again. France trailing after the first half. Can they find an effective response here in the second? And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Teo Hernandez. Shuameni forward with options available might be a chance here save but still a chance and he did what he had to do defensively Mbappe defensive Brazilians to shut them down Ziyech 30 minutes to go then Nusser Mazraoui Roma Saiz Hakimi Ziyech and he read it well defensively Griezmann oh, this could level it and he fought at the attack with a masterful tackle and that's all roll through to the keeper. The attack just fizzling out in the end. Sofian Bupal. And Nesiri. Unahi. Hakimi. Nayev Aguer. Just ten minutes to go. Moving the ball nicely. Looking for that final pass. Can he finish them off? And the keeper flings himself at the ball. If they can score again from this corner, it probably would be the end of the... But he didn't miss by all that much with the header. Just a little bit off target. Here's Belhenda. Sofian Bufal. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. Unahi. Ziyech. Is it going to be? How many minutes to reach that? The clearance wasn't decisive. Well, here's the replay, and you can see why the manager is furious. It's just really poor play. Offering up possession far too easily in a dangerous area. And there goes the whistle. Music to the ears of all the fans. They've only gone to make it through to the World Cup final. Well, they came into this as the underdogs, but they played brilliantly today. They fully deserved their win. They had such a good game plan, both with and without the ball, and they stuck to it. Now they can look forward to a wonderful occasion in the final.
Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Morocco against Brazil. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Amala. Asadin Unahi. Hakimi. Unahi. Amala. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. Oh, a vital interception. Rafinha. Neymar. Yusuf and Nesiri. Oh, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. Asadin and it's in! We've just witnessed the first goal of this 2022 World Cup final. One to save her. Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power, the keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. So they get the ball moving again. Can Brazil come up with an answer here? Rafinha. Neymar. Vinicius Junior. He's taken on his opponents here. Well, he gave it quite the whack, but not on target. Asadin Unahi. Sofian Amrabat. Sofian Bufal. Can he find the right pass? Well, he really read that brilliantly. Neymar. Rafinha. Patient. This could be the equaliser. Really needed to be spot on with the challenge inside the box. The fourth well, if you're wondering about added time, time two minutes it'll be. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. The first half here comes to an end. Now, please remind you that racism will not be tolerated in any form. The defenders will be removed from the stadium. Second half is underway. Brazil behind. Can they turn this match on its head? Well-timed tackle. On the offensive. A glorious chance. And a goal to increase the lead in this final. Will they be stopped now? Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection, and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. 2 0 here, and the ball is moving again. Vinicius Jr. Clean challenge. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Keeping the ball moving. Oh, could pull one back here. And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. And quick thinking to react to the situation and concede the throw. And they're making a change. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Brazil ball. Yusuf and Nesiri. Untidy in possession. 20 minutes to go.
Vinicius Junior, and it might be. And there it is! Still life left in this game, and they have the momentum now. Well, as you can see, it was a fairly simple finish in the end, but you still have to be in the right place, keep your composure and finish it off, and that's exactly what he did. And they will make the change now. Well, Brazil still behind here, but I'll tell you what, this game is very much a contest again. Who's to say what's going to happen next? On the cusp of the final whistle, and they're making home advantage count, but only just. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, they should have had this wrapped up long ago. Some of their football has been excellent, but they're going to need to be resilient in these final few minutes to get their much-deserved victory. Well, the attack showed promise, but easy work for the keeper in the end. Nusser Mazraoui. From our side. And just one, one minute, minute of time minute. added on for stoppages. And now it's all over. And they can truly celebrate. Because listen to this. They've won the World Cup. And they've done it with style as well. They've been absolutely superb throughout the tournament. They fully deserved it today.